Okay, so that took me a little bit longer than I thought, actually. I've probably spent the last two and a half hours just going through a couple of different um, things in, in this book and sort of trying to get my head around those, making some notes on them and working out exactly what it is I can do to investigate them further. The first one is probably a more short term thing, which talks about double smoothed momentum indicators which I found really interesting because in here there's a double smooth stochastic indicator and the work is attributed uh, by Kaufman to a guy called William Blau, who, who Kaufman reckons has made the, the best sort of advancements in momentum indicators in recent years and as well as producing a number of new indicators he's also done a lot of work around improving existing ones so i found this section particularly interesting if you're if you have edition four of kaufman's book then it's page 376 obviously it will be different in uh, more recent editions of the of the book but if you do have that book on page 377 there's a there's a chart that shows um, the existing stochastic, so the normal stochastic as we all know it, compared to this double smoothed uh, stochastic, as Kaufman calls it. And the difference is, is, is quite stark in terms of the fact that it's much, much smoother than the standard one, as you would expect from the name. But also it looks as though it doesn't really lag the normal indicator very much at all, which of course when you smooth indicators normally, that's a byproduct that they lag the price more. Whereas this one looks as though it's right there with the normal stochastic. And so I'm particularly interested in this because firstly, stochastic is an indicator I use in a couple of my systems. But one of the things that that system does suffer from is whipsaws um, in terms of entering the market too early and the price then going the opposite way to my trade or alternatively getting out of the market too, too early. And so this is one of the things that I've got that, you know, in the next few weeks, I can try this out. We've got the the, the equation for the double smoothed indicator here on, on the same page. So it's something that I'm going to be able to code up into the indicator and see how that compares in a backtest to my uh, standard system that I've got at the moment. So that's a really interesting thing for me to do and is something that, as I say, in a matter of weeks, I should probably have an answer as to whether that improves my system or not. Now, the next thing that I came across, which was of particular interest, was a whole chapter. This is chapter 11, and it's termed Cycle Analysis. And this goes through a whole series of um, points about how to take advantage of cycles in the market. And there's a lot in there about seasonality and so on, which I'm not so interested in, given that I don't trade stocks that often. But the part of this that I was particularly interested in is the generation of general cycle data. So what the frequency and the wavelength, for example, of those cycles are in price data, which of course can be applied to any price chart and isn't linked to seasonality in any way. Now, Kaufman goes through a whole series of ways in which these cycles can be ascertained. And one of the points he stresses here is that if you know what the cycle wavelength is in the market right now, it means you can tune in any indicators you're using to that cycle. And there's a few examples that he gives. In some of those examples, there are certain indicators that work best when the number of periods for the indicator is exactly half of the wavelength of the cycle. So what this means is that you can have the concept of a, an adaptive indicator that adapts to whatever the cycle of the market is at that time, which means that it remains tuned in to the market. Now, one of the ways that Kaufman talks about ascertaining these cycles 
is through a technique called Fourier transforms or Fourier analysis. And this is actually something that I studied when I was at university as part of my physics degree. But I have to hold my hand up and say I have completely forgotten how to use the technique. But I'm fairly convinced with a little bit of study and hard work, it will all start to come back to me. And so that is probably going to be one of my go-to techniques because I've done it before in order to investigate this cyclic behavior in the markets a little bit more. Now, instinctively, I just know that this particular concept and this technique is certainly not going to be something I can achieve in the next three weeks. This is probably one of those things that you really need to commit time to. And if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say this is more in the sort of the six month to 12 month time frame to sort of take this through the whole process and to work out how this could be applied to a viable algo trading system. So this is something that's very much going to go on the to do list and hopefully at some point soon I'll get round to actually starting to look at it. But it is something that appeals greatly to me because the whole concept of having an adaptive system that actually changes the number of periods for the indicators as the market changes is something that's really, really appealing to me. Now, clearly you have to be very careful here around over optimization with something like this. But nevertheless, I think that this is definitely something worthy of, of further investigation. Okay, so I'm now going to pack up and get back home. But remember, the main thing, I guess, that I'm trying to convey here is that there is a huge amount of value to get yourself away from your normal working environment into a new environment where you don't have any distractions at all and you just focus your mind on what you're going to do in terms of new system development, new concepts that you want to investigate and so on. And by doing that, I can guarantee that you will be more productive. You'll have more ideas about how to advance your existing systems or come up with new systems. Now, the, the other point that I would like to stress is the fact that by using a book such as this, and obviously there are thousands of other books out there, but a book that's been written by a reputable trader who really knows his stuff. And certainly for me, Kaufman fits into that category. Taking that approach to your research and your system development is incomparable to the alternative of just Googling the web, which, as I've said before, is full of so much misinformation. Now, depending on what your skill set is and what type of trader you, you are, will determine whether this particular book is right for you or not. So the thing with this Perry Kaufman book is it's extremely scientific and mathematically based. And so if you don't have a really good grasp of maths, then this possibly isn't the right book for you. But if, like me, you come from that kind of background where you use maths extremely heavily and a scientific approach very heavily in your algo trading, then this is certainly a book to consider. So get yourself online, see if you can find any excerpts from this book before you buy it, just to make sure that it is going to be right for you and invest a little bit of money in something like this. And like I say, you will not look back. Okay, so as I say, that was all a little bit different to my normal videos, uh, but hopefully you found it useful and you've still got something from it. Everything will be back to normal next time with my next video. And until then, trade safe.